Hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Virgos. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. Happy waxing crescent moon phase in Capricorn. Yes, in Capricorn. Capricorn is um is uh, a earth sign like you, divine feminine energy like you. It's a cardinal sign though. And Capricorn is a very is ruled by a very serious planet, Saturn. Saturn is all about authority, maturity, concentration, creating limits and boundaries and being mindful of your boundaries and being able to enforce them and also being mindful of other people's boundaries and however they enforce those boundaries um, without getting offended, you know, and, um, and um, you know, being able to move on and close out cycles in love. Let's get into it. I'm talking to you if you have... Virgo, anywhere in your birth chart, anywhere in your birth chart. Here we go. Seven of Wands. Yep, Seven of Wands. We also have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Three of Swords. We also have um, the Two of Cups. We also have the Hanged One. We also have the King of Cups. The King of Cups. All right, so Source is saying you'll be able to defend... Look, first of all, hang in there with yourself, right? Because somebody is overthinking some kind of deep disappointment or heartbreak that has happened, you know, has either happened or has happened in your life or is happening in your life right now. And Source is saying the overthinking with the with blindfolds on, with all of these swords around you to cut the... And these ropes are not even tight, right? This is where some of this is self-sabotage. You even overthink the the deep disappointment and heartbreak. Not when you have source to be able to say, you know what, I can I can finally defend my decision to move on without coming across as defensive. Sometimes people don't know how, how they have hurt you and you may not know how they've hurt them. And that's what we talk about boundaries, right? So source is saying to you, you do have soulmate energy coming across your path if you don't already have it. And their energy is very wise. Here we have the um, King of Cups and also the Two of Cups. Their energy is very, very wise. Their energy is, um, their energy is very compassionate. Uh, people who are really, really sweethearts, but they're not really coming to at what is it called so salt to an open wound they're really really coming to help you to kind of sort of wash off that hurt and that deep disappointment right sometimes you can keep trying and trying and trying and trying and just get the same kind of hurt right and so again boundaries 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 and you don't even know sometimes that you're hurting other people sometimes you don't know that you you have hurt other people so and sometimes they don't know if they've hurt you because again, boundaries haven't been clearly set, but I do see you on your throne. I do see you balancing out your emotions. Remember before the moon was in, um, before the moon was in, before the moon was in um, uh, Capricorn, it was in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius kind of gave us that feeling because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, kind of gave us that feeling that uh, we were lucky and just kind of that extra little nudge that we needed to feel like, okay, it could have put you in a really, really good mood, one. But it also could have taken you right back to a disappointment. So sometimes when you're in a good mood, you forget how people have hurt you. You may make that phone call again. It's like, okay, I'm in a good mood. I had a really, really good day. Let me check on so-and-so, see how they doing. Even though they could have hurt you a gazillion times. And so Source is saying you're sitting on your throne now just carefully vetting your thoughts. It really is disheartening after you feel like I'm all excited and I'm all fired up and I'm motivated. Some good things are happening. And you reach back out to loved ones only to get the same almost uh, secretive or almost kind of um, checked out response. Like they're distracted by something else. And you're like, what the heck? Like, What is going on? You know, like you're dealing with two different types of energy, like somebody who is something else is going on. So Source is saying, here we have, I do see when you defend your decision to move on from something, you feeling happier, more charismatic and free, you know, from something. And just like I said, just, just moving on, you know, just moving on. So just moving on from some things. So, yep. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have 
going on here. Let's see what else we have going. Here we have the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, and also the Hangman. Also the Hangman. So, you know, um, you, you survived a lot of pain, you know, looks like in your past. But Source is saying you're still standing. You know, this is where somebody got the strength to say, I need to keep on moving forward. I feel, I'm feeling good again. You know, I'm not going to let somebody bring me down, bring my mood down. What I'm seeing right here, when I look at the Six of Pentacles, is to uh, source is already um, source is already uh, um, approved somebody for something, uh, you know, something connected to money. Maybe source approved you to move, or maybe source approved you to do something. And again, you may be still looking for other people's approval. And again, keep getting one heartbreak, out, disappointment after another, checked out, you know, just that kind of energy. Maybe they're still processing some things. A lot of times with loved ones, we try to do our best to try to help them feel better through whatever they're going through. And sometimes you still get the zombified state. You still get the, they checked out, still trying to process things. So it's just like, you're going to have to learn how to say, you know what? Let me reconnect with my, my group of people in my soul community. And so I can just go ahead and move on from this, right? Here we have a hangman came out twice. So it's just saying, hang in there. Just hang in there with yourself. You got a guardian angel that's saying, look at it from a broader perspective. Because there's definitely something else that's attaching you, attaching itself to loved ones who could seem like they're checked out. They could be scared, nervous, you know, kind of sort of darting eyes around. Because it's just a lot of stuff that's going on. This source is going to make you aware of what's going on at a higher frequency. Here we have the, the Knight of Pentacles. Like, for instance, if they're living with somebody, you know, they may be take, speaking freely with you before and somebody, you hear the door open or you hear a noise or something in the background. They may hit the mute button. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. And you don't know what's going on in their life. And you're trying to just have them, you know, let them know it's a safe space to talk to you. And you still may get a whole lot of, you know, nervousness going on. So source is saying, you know, you, you certainly have the power and the ability to send good vibrations their way. And just kind of, like I said before, like I said, send, but continue working on yourself. So yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. So especially if you're dealing with some energies, one of the things that I'm picking up here too, is that, um, Somebody has been so hurt by so many people, and I'm not necessarily, I mean, I'm, I've seen you being hurt. You survived a lot, but you could be interacting with somebody else who's been, like, people have run smear campaigns on them too, like loved ones. People have run smear campaigns on them, were committed to misunderstanding them as well, and you could be picking up on their pain and trying to see it at a higher frequency, and you're trying to do everything you can to make it better. But like I said, we, we are not each other's gods. We can't force a person to talk to you. Can't force a person to, you know, tell you what their pain is. You can keep trying to help them with the pain, but sometimes that backfires and sometimes it just causes you to feel like you're going crazy. Like, okay, I feel helpless. Like I'm trying to help and it's just not, you know, so source is saying move on in childlike faith. Here we have the um, six of cups, the seven of pentacles, eight of cups. 10 of cups. We have the six of pentacles and also the four of pentacles. So, um, like I said, here we have the six of cups. So it's definitely wants somebody to move on in childlike faith. We have the eight of cups. Stay laser focused on your purpose and your creativity moving forward. That creativity, like I said, you, somebody has a soulmate or a soulmate could be a really, really good friend. Somebody in your life that's really helping to add a very positive spin on things. You know, they're not there to trauma bond, talk negatively about people, that kind of thing. Just really just pouring some fresh water and some things, helping you to stay focused. Again, there's two types of approvals that's coming across somebody's path. Like I said before, sometimes it's good to have that one last face-to-face -face conversation with somebody. You know, you've tried other kind of ways and, you, you know, sometimes people are, I'm telling you, <laughs> mm. Sometimes people are, here we have the 10 of cups right here. So source is definitely putting you with your team of people. I just, when I look at your cards here, I, I really feel like somebody is such a creative energy that you've tried creatively to get through people and help them with their pain, Virgo. But at some point, somebody's going to have to say, um, this is seven of pentacles, by the way. Um, they're going to have to learn how to plant the seeds that they want to grow themselves. 
you can tell a person like, you know, and I'm making suggestions. I'm like, okay, you can plant seeds of discernment. You can plant seeds of wisdom. You can plant seeds of um, knowledge. And you want to make sure you have an abundance of that because that'll may help you make the best financial decisions and those kind of things. But sometimes all people want is you to keep pouring into them until you are just spiritually dehydrated. And you're getting nothing in return except toxicity or a barely a response or like somebody who is despondent, like something else is going on, distraction, whatever it is is going on. And sources say at some point, you're going to start focusing on pouring into you because these people right here, they're talking about ideas, how you can grow your money. They're talking about how you can create jobs and opportunities for other people. They're not there. It's like, it's like fresh water being poured all around the table, fresh water. Okay. You got this idea. Okay. How can we expound on that? How can we work this idea? How can we do that? And somebody is still pouring, uh, pouring fresh water over loved ones, you know, broken heart and deep disappointment. Like some people don't even see a blessing standing in their face. You can hand them a bag of money and if they're still broken hearted over a breakup or they're still broken hearted over, a, um, uh, you know, the job, they have to learn how to turn their focus away from the thing that's, that's hurting them and put their focus on healing. And that's what Source is trying to help you to do is like, okay, you can pour, you can bring a, fr I mean, the, the sword wound can be just deep, deep, deep wound, and it can have a lot of rocks and dirt and everything in it. You can bring a whole big container of water on fresh water to flush it out and tell them, hey, let that air hit it so that you'll know not to go back around energies that is causing that kind of pain and hurt, but still yet and still that they, they uh, you know, so source is saying, be conservative with your thinking. Just be conservative. Because somebody is really, really trying. Like, be conservative with your time. Time is money. Be conservative. You continue working hard on yourself. Source is continuing to just show you that you're trying. You're doing your absolute best. You're trying to help people. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. You know, with yourself. You know, because... You know, when you're dealing with people who see that every time they're in pain, you come running with fresh water to try to, you got all this joy in your heart. You're trying to buy, you know, trying to buy something for them, trying to help them, trying to keep them in good spirits. It, it comes almost becomes a codependent relationship. And that's what Source is trying to, you know, prevent from happening for somebody like, okay, no codependent relationships. They're going to have to pour some fresh water into you like a thank you every now and then. That's what Source is saying to you. So here we have the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, the World card, the Four of Cups, the Star card, and also the Six of Cups. So Source is saying somebody could have a guardian angel. That's an Aquarius that's saying hang in there. Or you could have Aquarius star sign or your sun sign could be an Aquarius. But Source is saying, you know, somebody is telling you to look at things from a higher frequency. Somebody is saying look at things from a higher frequency. And, um, and when you close out cycles, close them out in love. This is attached to, um, this is, a, uh, this is one of Aquarius's ruling planets. You, somebody is saying close out something in love. So this is Saturn right here, the world card. Remember I said Saturn is the planet of authority and maturity. When you think about Saturn, you want to close out, when you're closing out bound, I mean, closing out cycles, you remember the boundaries that you set, the hard work that you put into things, the discipline it took the tradition, the formalities, how serious you are about trying to help pour into people. And Source is saying, where's the card? Six of Cups came out twice. It came out twice. Because again, when I look at your reading right here and I see all of this water being poured out and I'm seeing the Four of Cups, did I see Four of Cups? Four of Cups, somebody is definitely neglecting their own inner child by racing to somebody else's aid or two people's aid every single, is it two? Yeah, could be two energies aid every single time somebody needs something. You're racing to everybody's aid instead of sources saying, get your rest. Get your rest and heal, you know, yourself. And here we have the two of swords. And so when we had the two and eight of swords, these blindfolds can either be removed forcibly or they can be removed gently. It's up to you how you want these removed, right? And so Source is trying to help you gently remove these these um, these blindfolds and see things for what they really, really are. So 
it like I said, at some you all you all are a mutable sign and you go along with the flow and try to adapt highly adaptable, but you are also ruled by um Mercury and Mercury is the messenger planet. It's also the communication planet and communication in all forms. When you have when you look at things from a higher frequency and sources saying you're not delusional, you're not going crazy. This is Neptune. You're not going crazy about certain things. You're getting all kinds of downloads and messages to close out cycles. Sources saying if it's forcibly removed, you can go back, you know, with your, uh, you know, your checklist of things and looking at it from an um, objective and, and practical standpoint and say, okay, I can remove myself from the toxicity. I can remove myself from all the manipulation. I like, you know, I can remove myself from the drama, in other words. I can remove from, because you can be using your creativity for something else besides trying to pour fresh water onto other people's toxic energy. It's just making it worse and worse and worse. So you're trying to pour fresh water into a toxic cup and it's just just filling that toxicity up even more. So it's, it's like I said before. So a source is saying, if, if people keep going around toxic spirits and expecting for you to keep solving the problem, then you're the one that's going to be spiritually dehydrated all the time, just spiritually dehydrated, trying to you know. So I, I see I see that changing for you, freedom. Yeah, freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. That's right. Release me from its bonds. 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 So. So start your abundance planning. Source has already, source has already approved you for something to put yourself first. That's what you see number one here. Put yourself first. And um, it, it looked like it could be just like time for somebody to have a real heart to heart conversation where there is no blaming. It's just like, you know, telling a person, hey, whatever, however creatively you come up with a conversation, telling some people or a person looks like two energies right here. That source is saying you're not delusional. You're not losing your mind. You're not imagining things. This is also attached to Neptune, the planet of transcendence. And um you know, and, and so somebody's de definitely the imagination and transcendence and sources saying you're not imagining things, you're transcending, right? You are, what whatever you believe the situation to be is exactly what it is. That's what source saying. And what you believe is all that matters. You're getting every kind of sign under the sun. So what you believe about the situation is exactly how it is. Exactly how it is. So... This is, when you talk about Neptune, you want to think about your imagination, transcendence. You want to think about romance, the sacrifices you made, chaos, um, spiritualism, dreams and fantasies. You want to think about the desire to transcend, a longing for bliss, escapism. This is uh, Pisces ruling planet Neptune. So somebody is definitely saying, you know, you're dealing with an energy that again you're you're picking up on their overwhelming energies and it's like you when you think about pisces that fish and how easily pisces gets overwhelmed we're not talking about any pisces that you know pisces is also ruled by two planets as well and this symbol are two fish tied together swimming in opposite direction it's like somebody that you love is being pulled in two different directions and they don't, they're trying to escape a reality. And so I see for you, you deciding, hey, I'm not going to add to any indecision in your mind. I really gen genuinely want you to be happy. And for them, they could feel like, no, 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 no. I, I can make you just like, no, I, no, for me, <laughs> I keep pouring into something and I'm getting spiritually dehydrated. So I need to move on from it. That's what I'm saying for somebody, so... That is what I'm seeing for somebody. So here we have faith. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Uh, well, let me see. One, two, three, four. Let me make sure I got everything. Okay. Let me give you the questions for the moon in Aquarius. Let me give you for the questions for the moon in Aquarius. The first question is, what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? And then second is... Are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? 
Third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? Fourth question, is using technology a drain or gain for you? And then last but not least is, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And what could the focus be? Yeah, what could the focus be? So again, that moon in Aquarius just reminds all of us. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this in just a second. That moon in Aquarius reminds all of us that... Um, that we came here on earth, we have a mission to accomplish. And somebody could have been using sex magic on somebody that you love. And again, for them, it's like they are having, somebody could be having an out of body experience. And even if, even if they are not with someone, they could, it could have been transferred from another side of the family. Like it could have come through the bloodline and they could, it's a lot of things. Here we have 38. I draw on my body with an invisible blade carved with the bliss of lustrous teeth. It is the allure that I will meet blood and flesh. Yeah. So somebody could be really, really battling some things that again, they're going to have to be the person that's like I said, they could be checked out in some, it's, it's a lot of stuff that's going on. When I look at this, when I look at this reading here, there's so many different types of demons that people battle it's, you know, to try to ask somebody if they're okay or if they can't even figure it out themselves. You could be, like I said, and when we talk about water, you've been pouring out so much water to help somebody to calm down, you know, something inside of them, like something that's created inside of them, you know, that could have been transferred, you know, from birth down to them through just the bloodline. Here we have number four, I am stable. You bring ration, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock in your hard work and your perseverance make you a dependable um, friend, partner, and also colleague. So that's number four. Number four. And last card. Acceptance, affirmations for acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That's right. I am at peace. That is what I have for you, uh, Virgos. I will see you all on Sunday. Again, happy Freedom Friday. This reading is for the 20th of... This reading is for the 20th of October through the 20th of November. All right. Have a great day. Bye.